Okay, let's go over the power supply. We'll go over some of the cabling. Hopefully the, it won't be so blurry. First you're going to have your main motherboard power connector. Should be either 20 or 24 pin. This one is 24 pin. Goes in one way on the motherboard. You're going to have an auxiliary, and I've got you can either you'll either have a four or a six pin auxiliary for your motherboard. Let me go ahead and move over to this one. And it'll be an easy one to locate, usually sometimes in the center of the motherboard or near the center. Okay, let's go ahead and go on here. This is this is your Molex connector. This provides power to your hard drives and your optical drives if they are not SATA. Right here, this little one. That is a Berg connector. And it's what provides power to the floppy drive. Okay, this one right here, it's a SATA power connector. And it provides power to the SATA drives. Serial ATA. Oh, what else? Okay, and power supply. Let's go ahead and go over this. This right here, it's your voltage ch uh, changer. This one is at 115 volts, and usually it has a, a switch that you'll flip over to put it to 220 for overseas. We don't, uh, this one doesn't have the switch, it's stuck at 115, that's fine. And it's got a big honking fan. Sometimes I have little fans, which are a little bit louder, and they're the ones that make a lot of noise. This one's quiet. And how do you tell the wattage? Is you'll put that out of the way. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, but you'll look at the plate. And sometimes they actually do say the wattage right on it, right here. It's going to be the wattage. It's going to be 400 watts. But sometimes they don't actually say it. And you'll have to just look at the numbers. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, model number DPS-400. And we're going to, we'll assume that that's 400. And that is the basics of the power supply on the back of course you put this inside the case on the top or the well on the top in this case and you have four screws that you screw it into and that is the basics of the power supply